Okay, so there are two pretty important concepts when it comes to making music. These are pitch and volume, and I believe you have a demo that you're going to show us to uh, illustrate how these work. Well, it'll certainly make a noise. <laughs> so we need a way of making a voice. This, this is a really nice demo to make a really good noise. Um, so we need a way of making a vibration. Okay, you've just given me a balloon. I'm guessing you want me to inflate this, right? Not quite yet. Oh, right. Okay, I'll put I'll put this cello down then. So, okay. So what I've got here is a nut, as in a one which should be attached to a bolt, so a metal nut. Um, and if you roll it along something, you get a little bit of vibration. I'm not sure if you quite heard that, but you, it kind of as it rolls along, it bounces slightly. Um, now, if we put that in a balloon, it suddenly becomes a lot easier to hear. So, if we put a nut it down the neck of a balloon, do you want me to copy you? Yeah, you do the same thing. Oh, okay, it's putting the nut in the balloon. Oh, it's quite difficult. And this is where I wish I played the clarinet or the <laughs> flute or something, isn't it? How much are we doing? Uh, that'll be plenty. So reasonably well <laughs> inflated. That, that'll be enough. Out of there. <laughs> okay, so we now have an inflated balloon with a nut inside. So if we roll the nut round inside, then you get that vibration. But now that vibration will be very efficiently connected to the air because the balloon's a big, big surface. Okay. And if you roll it round, you get a rather nice noise. Um, now what's interesting is if you use different sizes of nuts. Um, so this is the smaller nut, so with the original nut which I had, and then a smaller nut, it go, you get a higher pitch. Uh -huh. Because the smaller nut, as it rolls at the same speed, um, it bounces more often because it's smaller, so it's got to spin faster. So you get more vibrations a second, so you get a higher pitch. Oh, okay. Um, so a higher frequency, essentially. Yeah, so the higher frequency means a higher pitch. Got it. And if you, you put something like a 5p coin, which has got lots of little tiny milling edges on the edge, and you can roll that round, you get a really, really high pitch because it's vibrating very, very quickly. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, that's definitely higher, right? Um, but much quieter because the vibrations are smaller and a, smaller vi a small vibration makes a quiet noise and a large vibration makes a loud noise. Oh, so you have a smaller amplitude. Yeah. So you make it, which is a quieter noise. Oh, right. OK, that's an excellent demo. And great, great for radio. <laughs> and great for annoying your parents if there are any children listening. Ah, because of course you can do this at home, right? You've got balloons, a 5p and some hexagonal nuts. Or try other objects, see how they affect the sound. Oh, OK.